Okay, so they are going to talk about systems of equations and one of the methods in which to solve these systems of equations. This method is the graphing method, and it makes sense to, to talk about this method first because it really explains what a system of equations is. A system of equation is one or more equations. I'm sorry, two or more equations, rather, and with two variables in them. Um, there can be more than two variables, but what we're going to look at in Math 1 are equations with two variables. What graphing, graphing method is doing is graphing both these lines, both these equations, and showing the point of intersection. That point where these lines cross is the answer to our system. So let's take a look at an example. If we have x plus y equals 3 and 3x three minus y equals 1, we want to graph both these lines, so I have equation 1 and equation 2, and see where they intersect. So if I look at equation 1, there's a couple different ways to graph. One, we can do our intercept method, because this is in general form. Or we can quickly rearrange this to look like y equals mx plus b. So if I take equation 1, I'm just going to change my colors here. Put this one in blue. If I take equation 1 and rewrite it, I get y equals negative x plus 3. All I did was take the x and subtract from both sides. Equation 2, if I want to get the y alone, I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides, leaving a negative y equals negative 3x plus 1. And to get that y completely alone, I'll divide by negative 1. So y equals 3x minus 1. So now that I have two equations that I'm very comfortable with, an mx plus b form in each, we can easily graph. So looking at equation number 1, my, the point that I'm given is this y-intercept right here, this plus 3. So I'll graph that y-intercept. And my slope is negative 1. So I'll go down 1, right 1, down 1, right 1, down 1, right 1. Or I can go up and left. Now I'll wait to make my line to the end. For the blue, the second equation, the point I know is this negative 1 is my y-intercept. So I do 0, negative 1. And my slope is positive 3. So I go up 3, right 1. And there I am to cross that. Up 3 right one. And that's plenty of points. So if I just connect my dots here in as straight a line as I can get, it's not bad. The red one. Should have a ruler, but just a little sketch here. That point of intersection, this point in which both these cross, that's my answer to my system. That's the x and y value that work for both equations. So in this case, that point is 1, 2. That's the solution to this system. These two equations both work for this x equaling 1 and y equaling 2. Now let's take a look at a second example. This second example, again, has two equations, each with an x and a y in them. We want to graph them, see where they intersect. That is the solution to this system. This, these two equations are given in point-slope form. So a little review for you here as well. So again, I'll do equation 1 in red, and I'll do equation 2 in blue. So for equation 1, point-slope form means I'm given a point and a slope. So the point given in this line is 3, 4. So I'll graph that 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. And my slope is a positive 1. Can't see it here, but we know if we don't see anything, we know it's just a 1. So again, I'll go up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1, or down and left, down and left, down and left. My second equation, the point I know, is 4, negative 1. So I will do 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1. And my slope is a negative 1. So I'm going to go up and left, up and left, up and left, there I am, up and left, or down and right. So if I connect my blue dots, And connect my red dots. And that point at which these two lines intersect, this point right here, which is again 1, 2, that is my answer. That's a solution to this system. That is the point and the one point that works for both equations. Now, these two equations are examples that I gave you. The exa first example we did and the second example we just finished, 
always give us an answer to the system. We're always getting that point of intersection. There are a few special cases where I won't get a point of intersection. One case being parallel lines. If I have two equations that are parallel, they're never going to cross. Therefore, there is no solution. There's no solution to that system. The second type are two equations that may look different, but once you reduce them down or you graph them, you realize they're exactly the same line. So if I have one line on top of another line that's exactly the same, your solution is all real solutions. Anything will work because that those lines are constantly intersecting because they're the same line. They're just sitting on top of each other. So keep that in mind that you don't always have to have a set answer. You can have parallel lines with no real solution, or you can have two lines that are exactly the same. Therefore, that's all real solutions. Now that we tried two examples together, why don't you try this one on your own? Please graph these two lines and see where the system intersects.